Hi guys, you may probably know that starting from 1st October, GitHub has changed policy related to default branch naming when you create a new repository at GitHub. And now default branch is named instead of master, main. And uh, in this video I want to explain your reasons for this decision and also discuss advantages and disadvantages of it. Let's get right into it. Alright, starting from 1st October 2020, when you create a new repository at GitHub, default branch will be set to main. And the decision for that is following. Let me quote. After the brutal death of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter protests earlier this year, tech companies wanted to show their support for the black community by abandoning non-inclusive terms such as master, slave, blacklist and whitelist. And basically GitHub was one of the first companies that decided to implement this in life. And that's why they decided to get rid of the term master and replace it with main. But uh, let's now discuss whether it's a good decision for us or not. I'm sure that you know that GitHub is a hosting service for Git repositories. And Git is a separate piece of software that must be installed on your computer if you want to manage your repositories locally. And basically Git at the moment, at the moment of recording of this video, has not yet changed its policy related to naming of the branches your default branch will be still set to master. And that could cause some problems when you try to integrate your local repository with remote repository. And in this tutorial I would like to show you what happens in this case and how you could avoid some mistakes during this connection. And by the way, I have a very large Git and GitHub course that is more than 20 hours long and now it has more than 1000 very positive reviews and average rating is 4.7 and if you want to learn Git and GitHub in details, please find the link to my course in the description below. Alright, let's now try that in practice and first I would like to create a new repository at GitHub and demonstrate you that the default branch will be set now to main. Alright, I'll create a new repository here, click new and repository name will be let's say TMP temporal and description will be temporal branch to check default branch settings. I'll keep this repository public and I would like to initialize it with readme.md file. Let me check this checkbox and immediately I'll see that this will set main as a default branch. Let me create a new repository, creating. And now I'll see that this repository has a single branch, main, and it is marked as default. Also, I could go to view all branches uh, link and here I'll see the same information. So default branch is main. Of course, if you would like, uh, you could create additional branches. For example, you could create a branch master. Let me do that quickly. Go back to code and here in drop down type name for new branch master. Create new branch master. It will be created from branch main. And now there are two branches, but main is still set as default branch. If you want to adjust setting of default branches, you could go to settings here. go to branches and here select master and click update and now the default branch will be set to master so let me go back to code and now master is tagged as default branch that's how you could change the behavior of the default branch if you need to do so great now let's have a look at another example and now I'll create new repository at GitHub, but I will not initialize it with readme.md file and afterwards I'll try to connect my local repository that I will create as well with this remote repository. And uh, I'll show you that Git still has master branch as default branch. Alright, first uh, let me remove this repository, let me go to settings scroll to the very end of this page and here I'll find the button delete this repository. Let me click on it. Here I need to type uh, name of this repository vista should slash tmp like so I understand. Delete this repository. Repository was deleted and now let me first create new local repository using git. I'll switch to terminal 
And here first let me verify version of the git installed on this computer. git dash dash version. And the version installed on this computer is 2.29.2. Basically, I have just updated the uh, Git version to the latest at this moment of time, and I could verify latest version by going to git-scm.com, and I see that latest source release is 2.29.2, .2, and it matches with the version I see here in the terminal. And uh, now let me actually try first to create a new repository locally and see which branch will be set as default branch. Let me cd to desktop and here let me create a new folder called tmp, let me cd to this folder and here type git init, initialized empty git repository. And I see that the default branch was chosen as master and this is the same behavior as before. And it means that git has not yet changed its policy related to naming of the default branch. And this uh, could cause uh, some problems when you integrate your local repository and remote repository. Basically, let me first create uh, some files in this empty repository, because now there are no files. Let me touch uh, file.txt, let me add it to staging area and uh, let me commit. First uh, file, like so, committed and uh, now there is a single commit. And now let me create a new repository at GitHub, same as we did before, and uh, try to integrate this local repository with remote repository. Let me go back to GitHub and there I'll create a new repository, same as before. Name will be TMP. Description connecting local and remote repositories, like so. It will be public and now I will not check a checkbox add readme file and simply press button create new repository. Creating. Repository was created and now I have several choices. I as a create new repository on the command line using those commands and notice that in all those commands branch in use is main here, here and if you want to push existing repository from the command line you could use those three commands. So first uh, let me set remote origin, let me copy this command to go back to terminal, paste it here. And now remote origin was set uh, and it points to just created a new TMP repository at GitHub. Now let me copy second command git branch dash capital M main and let's see what will happen. And this command actually has just changed default branch master to main. So if you want to use now main instead of master, you could use this command to do so. So now default branch is main and there are no other branches, you could verify that, just single branch remains main. And now you could uh, push changes to remote using this command, git push dash u that stands for upstream and this will create if absent remote branch called main, let's do so username for github, here is my username and password, let me type it here. Now it's pushing changes to remote and now branch main is set to track remote branch main from origin. It means that uh, now main is default branch locally in local repository and it is default to branch in remote repository as well. Let me refresh this remote repository here and now I see same picture as before. So main is default branch. Wonderful. But uh, now question, what if you want to, to keep uh, master as default branch and for example you have some local repository where master is a default branch and you want to keep this uh, default branch in remote repository. Let me show you how to do that. But first let me remove this repository. Again, scroll to delete this repository, type name, I could simply copy it from here, like so, delete, repository was removed, now let me go back to this repository, go one level up and I'll remove entire folder tmp, like so, and now let me create a new folder again and it will be let's say tmp2, make directory, tmp2, cd to tmp2, Let's uh, git init and again default branch is master. Let me go back to github, create new repository again. It will be tmp2 and description will be let's 
keep default branch as master like so let's keep it public and again i will not check any checkboxes create repository let's now set again remote origin but first before doing that let me add uh, some changes here touch uh, file.txt git uh, add dot uh, git uh, commit uh, dash m first commit commit was made and now let me paste uh, git remote at origin command and uh, now we could do following instead of uh, using those two commands git branch dash capital m main and git push dash u origin main I will simply use single command git push dash u origin master that will push our local master branch to remote and set it as tracking branch for remote master branch. So git push dash u upstream origin and here will be master like that. Let's press enter, enter my credentials, login, password. pushing and now i see that the branch master is set up to track remote branch master from origin let's verify settings at uh, github remote repository let me refresh this repository page and now i see that the default branch is set to master so if you want to keep master as default branch you could do like i did you could simply push to remote your local repository to newly created remote repository with dash u upstream flag set and use master branch here instead of main and in such case remote default branch will be set to master as well so same behavior as before please notice that uh, default branch setting is very sensitive because many projects have ci cd continuous integration and continuous development set and configured and it is usually bound to such branch names as master or release and it is relatively difficult to adjust those deployment settings in all places if you want to adjust default branch from master to main and get rid of master branch at all so it's up to you whether you want to switch to this default branch main or still use master. I have demonstrated you several use cases when you could go ahead with default recommendations from GitHub and use main branch. And also I've shown you how you could keep using master branch if you want to do so. And please notice that uh, you could uh, always adjust settings of default branch at GitHub. For that you could go to settings and uh, here in the branches section you could uh, modify the default branch. At the moment this uh, project TMP2 has just a single branch, that's why there is no drop down, but in the previous example I demonstrated you how to modify the default branch if you need to do so. Alright guys, that's all for overview of this new GitHub policy related to default branch naming convention and the GitHub promises that till the end of 2020 they will smooth actually transition from master default branch to main and they will automatically adjust uh, settings of uh, branches and adjust all open pull requests if any and so on. But again, it's up to you whether you want to migrate from master to main or not. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, ask some questions in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel. I post a lot of tutorials like this one. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye.